Hey, what's up? This is Greg with SportsRehabExpert.com and on-track physiotherapy in Ann Arbor. Today we're going to be going over how to coach bounding from a rehabilitation standpoint from the lowest level or if you're just introducing it to an athlete in performance standpoint, how to take someone from a low level bounding activity to a high level bounding activity. This is one of the most essential plyometrics for horizontal force production, meaning it's super important for being able to develop high-end speed. But when taught in this logical manner, it's going to be broken down in a way that you can introduce it to athletes very early on in many circumstances, both in rehabilitation as well as sports performance. So there's two different levels. The biggest component to this is finding a rhythm. And uh, once you've found that rhythm, it's a matter of starting to extend the bound out further and further distances. So the further you cover ground, uh, the more challenging the exercise becomes. So if you're just starting out, you can start with a very small amount of ground coverage, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. And then secondary to that, we will also wanna time that with an arm swing. So the arm swing, you'll see me kind of flapping my arms, like I'm a bird flapping the wings almost. You want that kind of momentum to carry you forward, to help push you forward, keep a rhythm, keep that fluidity of the exercise. It's very similar to running. You're gonna be swinging your arms when you're running. You wanna do the same thing when you're bounding. This flapping of the arms helps keep you balanced, helps keep you fluid throughout the movement. So I'm gonna show level one here, which is a very graded low level version of the bounding where we're not covering much of ground. We're just getting used to getting into a rhythm, get the timing down, get our arm swing going, and getting comfortable with the movement first. All right, so as you can see, I wasn't actually covering too much ground there, but it was still a dynamic exercise. I was focused on the rhythm, focused on the arm swing. Something to take note was that I hit my heel first and then roll through the foot. It's not a crashing down landing on the heel. It's a heel to flat foot position where you roll and rock right through your foot quickly to push off again. So that's what's gonna help you start increasing more distance as you go along is getting used to transitioning that heel over top of foot and transitioning your momentum to continue allowing you to go forward. Also with the lower level activity, I wasn't too worried about driving my knee up towards my chest. In this higher, this next level version, the highest level of bounding, again, this is all on a spectrum. You can kind of grade the intensity from 50% effort to 100% effort. But when we get into 100% effort, we want to really be driving the knee forward you want to really think about driving that knee forward almost like you're trying to break a wooden board in front of you trying to break that board down on your knee and still flap the wings it's just going to be much more aggressive and you're going to start covering more ground so on this next level again pay attention to how much ground we're starting to cover how much dissociation of the hips that you see i'm driving my knee forward thinking about breaking that wooden board in front of me and uh, from a foot standpoint, foot heel to foot flat to really drive myself ahead. All right, so as you can see, much more dynamic, much more ground covered. The goal is to get outward and try to cover as much ground is possible not necessarily try to jump up very very high so distance is your goal with this exercise level three of bounding is the highest level it's still very very dynamic we're still going 100 percent it's just going to change up our arm action a little bit by holding on to a light medicine ball that medicine ball could be anywhere from four to ten pounds but it's going to work on getting this alternating action trunk rotation that you would expect when you're sprinting All right, so as you can see, a little bit more challenging, starting to get my wind taken out of me during this exercise. Make sure you have plenty of rest when you're doing this from a workout standpoint, but it teaches you how to rotate through the upper body, getting that alternating reciprocal action, just like you would when you're running. All right, so there you have it. There's level one through three of teaching bounding, how to teach that to your athlete, 
from a low level standpoint, uh, taking it up to a high level of performance standpoint, let me know what you think below in the comments. If you are a rehab clinician or strength coach, be sure to check out sportsrehabexpert.com. We have CU courses that give you a sports and orthopedic-like residency without the price tag. Get started with our Sports Rehab Expert Fast Track course today. Then move on to our higher level courses, the Full Body Treatment Domination and Human Assessment Mastery course.